Hey there, you beautiful people. Are you tired of your boring ass workout routine? It's your favorite porno bodybuilder here. Today, I'm gonna take you through my training split as a young porn star. Hey, hey. Part, training splits. What am I training every week? Um, it has changed so much over the years and I have done literally every single training program. Not every single training program, but most of them. Like Jim Wendler's 5 through 1 gave me really good results when I was uh, super young in high school and that uh, helped my strength quite a bit. I followed legs push pull. I've done upper lower. I've done full body splits. I've done so much uh, training programs and like every single modification of those that you can find. So make sure you drink your coffee. Everybody needs water online for free and from a couple coaches that I've had. I currently do not have a coach but I've had one in the past. I've had three coaches in the past and they helped me, but they wasn't, it wasn't really the help that I wanted. Um, everyone's going to be different. Everyone's going to be uh, responding to different programs. Just so, it's so like individual. Um, it's like impossible to say like, this is the best program for one person. Um, you can't say that because each person is totally different and you're going to want to find the program that works best for you. That's what I always recommend. My program right now um, that I'm going to be doing for at least like six months because I like it, you should do the program that you like to do. Um, if you're not enjoying your workouts, then you're not going to go to the gym. Uh, it's simple as that, and it's, it's not going to work out for you. So find a program that you really enjoy, whether that's CrossFit, whether that's uh, Pilates, whether that's full body splits, whether that's going to the gym, at least two days per week though, I would say. If it's not two days a week, um, I would say you're gonna struggle um, to obtaining uh, a healthy physique. I would say at least like three days, but two days is fine. I personally train anywhere from five to six days a week. It changes depending on when I need a rest day. I don't take like planned rest days. I just take a rest day whenever I feel like it and that seems to be working for me. First day is an upper strength focused workout where I'm doing the bench press. Everybody loves bench press and it's going to have two uh, heavy sets after I do my warm-ups so everything in here um, I might show warm-ups in a different video I do a specific warm-up routine for each type of day um, upper strength day is going to have four total sets of bench but the first two sets I'm going to be focusing on uh, heavy sets where anywhere from like three to five reps I used to do like one and two reps uh, for a couple programs that I run, but I find that three to five reps works best for me for those first two sets, and then two back off sets after that. So I'm doing a little bit higher reps, anywhere from like six to 10. It just kind of depends on how I feel that day, um, but I'm going to failure on those uh, back off sets usually. Second exercise, I'm gonna be doing lat pull downs or a variation of that uh, same thing two heavy sets two back off sets and then I'm going to be going to a overhead press type of variation whether that's uh, machines I usually stick to like the same exercise though for multiple weeks um, instead of changing it up every single time that just seems to work for me. Um, I would advise you to do what works for you and what you enjoy the most. So overhead press, I'm doing anywhere from three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps. I just like the higher reps on 
the uh, overhead presses. That's just me personally, but um, after that, I'm going to be doing uh, incline rows or rows that are at some type of an angle. Um, I like doing those rows. That's why I kept them in. And anywhere from three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps on that. Um, then we're going to be doing chest flies. Love doing chest flies. Those, uh, I have the choice of either doing them on the machine or the cable. Um, and anywhere from four sets of 10 to 15 reps. I like the high reps on the accessory type of exercises because I tend to get injured more if I'm doing heavier on these exercises that weren't really meant to go uh, super heavy. So there's that. Um, and then I threw in rear delts on this day for the last exercise. Rear delts of same thing, four sets of 10 to 15 reps. And I'm always doing abs uh, every single workout. That's just me. I wouldn't recommend that you do that, but I just like doing abs, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, there's specific days that I might uh, take like a rest day where I do like abs on that specific day. I know it's not really a rest day, but it's a lot, it's like active recovery. That's what I like to do. And I like to be moving and doing something that uh, is active because I'm super ADHD. Um, the second day is going to be a lower strength focus day. So a high bar squat, same thing, two heavy sets and two back offsets. If I feel like it, I might do a fifth set. Um, and that's anywhere from three to five reps again on those two first two heavy sets. And then the last two sets are going to be anywhere from six to 10 reps. I don't like going over 10 reps on squats. That's just me. But uh, there's no um, risk in going high reps on the squats. You just got to do what works for you. Um, next exercise is going to be RDLs or Romanian deadlifts. I love doing these for hamstrings and glutes. They're going to hit a lot of muscles. Um, I like doing compound movements, but uh, I'll explain that more in detail later. So four sets of eight to 12 on the Romanian deadlifts. I just like doing a little bit higher reps on that specific exercise. And then we're gonna be going to the leg press. Uh, everybody loves leg press. I see this exercise being used way too much. Um, I throw it in there once, maybe twice a week. Um, and that's uh, just because personal preference. You do what works for you. Um, anywhere from four sets of six to like 15 reps, I would say. It just depends on the day, it depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I like to get a good pump in and yeah, that's juicy. Um, leg extensions for this last main exercise. I'm gonna be doing four sets of 12 to 15 reps and I love doing leg extensions. Uh, my quads definitely need work, um, but that's why I'm doing it. So uh, the last exercises I'm gonna do is uh, kind of optional. You can do calves, nobody trains calves. I do most of the time, but sometimes I skip it. Uh, I'm gonna be doing five sets of anywhere from 10 to 15 reps on calves of your choice either a seated calf raise or a standing calf raise, or you can do it on a leg press. Uh, that's what I found that works for me. And as always, abs every single workout, uh, around five to 10 sets, I would say. Um, that's a lot of sets. You don't need to be doing that many sets, but I do that many sets because I like abs. Do the exercises that you love to do. Next day is gonna be a push workout. Um, so this is where things get changed up. Uh, push, I'm just going to be doing incline bench, uh, four sets of eight to ten. Um, again, depends how I'm feeling. I'm not really tracking weights uh, at this point, but I uh, 
sometimes track the numbers and, and the percentages and stuff. I used to do that all the time when I was younger, but it's kind of a waste of time in my opinion, um, at least at the advancement that I'm at right now. Uh, I'm not saying I'm advanced, but uh, I've just been working out for long enough that I don't really care to track the numbers on how much weight I'm doing, because uh, that doesn't really matter to me. I just care about getting stronger each time and adding slow amount of weights to the bar over time. Progressive overload, that is the key. We're gonna be doing upright rows. Now, I used to be doing uh, an overhead press on this day, but I took it out because I want my shoulder to be I guess injury free because I, I have injured myself in the past by doing way too much overhead pressing. Um, so that's why I just kept that to one day per week, but upright rows is sufficient for me. And I'm gonna be doing less sets, so three sets of 10 to 12 reps. That uh, is good and making sure I'm getting a good pump. Um, side laterals, three sets of 15-ish. Um, now these reps will change like all the time and it really depends on how I'm feeling, but just higher reps of side laterals raises uh, so I can get the illusion of having a smaller waist. That's what bodybuilders say uh, that's all about. So I've been doing that for quite a long time and I think that it's worked. <laughs> um, then I'm going to be doing cable flies or the opposite of what I did the day before on the same week um, to get more of that inner chest um, development. It just, I don't know, it makes my chest look more 3D in my opinion. So then we're going to be doing triceps. Um, not doing as much arms these days, but triceps, I just put in four sets of 15 reps. I'd say 10 to 15, but uh, you could do more if you want to, but that's what I'm doing right now abs every single workout um then we're gonna go on to the pull day this is my f boom had to take a quick break a sex break actually it's the next day but it was fucking raining really hard anyways pull day pull day is literally my favorite day i love doing deadlifts um and we're starting off with sumo deadlifts Five sets of three, um, it changes each week, and I'm going to be only doing sumo. I used to try conventional, but conventional just doesn't really work for me, so do what works for you. That's the goal. Deadlifts, i um, going to be doing an average of like 15 reps, maybe 20 at the max. Deadlifts take a lot out of me personally, so I don't do a ton of volume on them and that's why it's a little bit lower, but we're gonna supplement that later on uh, with some other things on the second leg day. Pull-ups are the next exercise or a variation of that. So I'm gonna be doing four sets of 10 on average, and then the cable rules for a horizontal pull, or I'm going to do something similar to that. Cable rows, just I just put it in there because that's kind of the best, the best like overall mid back exercise for me personally. Or I'll be doing it on the plate loaded machine. Really like that plate reloaded machine for uh, those rows. I can really get a good squeeze, get a good pump, and make sure you take your Cialis pre workout. That's the best pre workout. In my opinion, um, I don't really use a ton of pre-workouts uh, other than maybe a monster that has a lower caffeine content. But uh, anyways, I'm going to be doing a single cable um, pull down in a kind of a horizontal, not horizontal, a vertical fashion. Um, but I might change that and make it a little bit at an, at an angle, if that makes sense. Um, single cable pull downs, I'm going to be doing about three sets of 12 on that. And I just kept it a little bit lower volume than the rest because, um, yeah, if I go too far in the volume, then I'm definitely going to burn out later on in the weeks or the months. 
Um, Delos, those are going to be for a different video. Um, biceps, I'm going to be doing uh, a bicep exercise of my choice uh, for that specific day. And uh, on average, I'll be doing four sets of 15, a little bit higher reps on that, because I just like higher reps on biceps. Um, the last day of this week, of course, legs. Um, going to be starting off with hip thrusts anywhere from five sets to six of six to ten and I love his hip thrusts um, I think that they're great for overall leg development and instead of doing squats on this day I did squats just once during the week um, that avoids me from just fucking up my CNS and being way too tired later on in the day then we're gonna do Hit Shark, I love this machine. Um, this machine is not really found in a lot of gyms, but if you have one, it is a great supplement uh, instead of doing squats or leg press. Uh, leg press gets a little bit boring to me, so that's why I do it. I'm going to be doing um, the rep ranges are going to change from the phase that I'm in. Um, like, I'll be doing a specific rep range for at least like a month and then I might change it the following month. It really depends. Um, I do what works for me, you should do what works for you. And then uh, hamstring curls, of course. Um, there's only two hamstring curl machines in my gym. So most of the time I'll be doing the standing single leg variation. I love that one. Um, if you have access to that, definitely use it. Uh, three sets of 12 on that. Then cable uh, side glute raises. I'm not really sure how to call that, uh, what to call those, but uh, I love those for extra glute development. Um, and we're going to be doing anywhere from three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps on that. I like the higher reps um, just on that specific exercise because it just it feels right to me. Calves um, are optional. Most of the time I do calves on this specific day. Uh, anywhere from three to five sets, and that seems to work for me. Of course, abs, every single workout. Um, I love doing abs, and yeah, I love them. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and my training split. It's a little bit weird, but it's what works for me, and I think it's better than just the legs push pull or an upper lower split for me. Um, it just works for me. So, Take that as you will, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.